footy fans and go you blues, we're in the final four. It's been a long, long time since we've been up in the top four of the AFL ladder and we're travelling pretty nicely after eight rounds. It was great to see us beat the slow, 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 crow, crow, crows and break their spirit just a little bit. We could have done a lot better. I did hear one of the commentators say, you know, well, the Crows are coming back in when we had them at three-quarter time and the fourth quarter started and the Crows got a few goals up and they went on to still lose. But we sort of let them come in and the commentator's words were the players are taking it a bit easier. They're taking their foot off the pedal a bit. They don't want to risk injury, etc., etc., etc. Guess I'm old school. I would have ground them into the ground. It was a chance to break their fucking spirit. It was a chance to destroy them, to break their season totally. But apparently this is the way the game's played now. It's far more moderated, it's measured, it's calculated, and it's done with a greater purpose for the end of the season. Okay then, not a coach, just a footy fan. I'll take that and I'll wear that. But the interesting thing about watching this game was simply, if you reverse the jumpers, Adelaide was Carlton two, three, four years ago. That was us that would come out and kick two quick goals or be in the game at the first quarter, slowly get ground down, then have a blowout quarter, and then we might kick three or four goals in the last quarter to make the score look half reasonable, but still be well beaten. So there's your sort of upshot of the game. You're seeing Carlton being represented by another team, going through that battle of rebuilding, getting themselves back on the track, and being a successful team again. On the other hand, watching us play, it was the lack of fumbles, it was the skill set, it was the continuous attack on goal, it was a continuous attack on the player and the ball getting skills and getting the ball from the opposition. Footy's still a really simple game, there's three things. They've got the ball, we've got the ball and the ball's in dispute. Once you've got the ball, then you kick a goal. A little bit of disappointment there with Kerno, missed a couple of what I'd call easy goals, but still got enough on the board, still got his hundred up. And this is what we're talking about. A team that's got experience under the belt now. And it's not one or two players. It's through the whole playing list. And that was something which Sean Red once pointed out when he was coaching at Hawthorne. The reason Hawthorne was so successful, they had a kind of formula where they had to have a certain number of players all above a certain level of games played. It's like work experience. It's like any job. When you first start out, you're really keen, but you don't understand the mechanics or the way that a game is structured or your position of your job is structured or the industry is structured. These players have now got that under the belt and more importantly, we've won two in a trot and we've had two really good third quarters. Yeah, we've done it against the lesser lights of the season, but that's the whole key. We just needed that little bit of a break to prove the point that this third quarter blues we had was just something that was happening and it was impossible to overcome it. And now they've got the confidence to do it. They can now say, when it does hit up in a third quarter, we can come back. We can attack. We can keep going forward. Because football is an attacking game. It's not a defensive game. It's not a run around in circles and look like donuts game. It's an attacking game. Because goals win games. That's the only way you win a game of football. Kick more goals than the opposition. And you can start splitting heads and saying, oh, no, no, it's about sometimes getting in front and maintaining the distance and just defeating the opposition by outplaying them in strategy. Yeah, sure, but it's much better just to kick more goals and blow them off the park. And that was my disappointment with the game against the Crows. We should have kicked them off the park. But that's just footy head being a Blues fan because I love to win. I love to crush the opposition. It's so good to see the opposition team there completely shell-shocked knowing that they have just had their entire season ripped open, shown up to the sky, and just like butterflies, all their spirit and character is gone for the rest of the year. The Crows will come back from this. They'll win two or three or four games. They're going to have three really tough games coming up. We've got our tough games coming up. We may be in the top four, but I don't think we're a top four side yet. That's my upshot. I think we'll be on the cusp of it. Sixth, fifth, fourth. Let's see how we go. Our percentage still isn't good enough. Another reason why we shouldn't have let the Crows off the hook. Percentage building. Get the percentage, get a top four. That's where it pissed me off when I heard that commentator say, well, they're saving them. So it's not about saving them. Percentage, higher up the ladder. Then we've got the chance if we've got as many wins or more wins than the opposition or the same number of wins, we've got a percentage that keeps us up above them. Top four finish is really important. But if we don't get it, we'll still go ahead. Playing in the finals in 2022, that's a great improvement for me. 
Go you blues in 2022! It's the Australian way, the grand final, shouting.